Hey guys, Nicky Tech here, and today I'll be talking about how to download Windows 10, uh, the ESA file. Uh, first of all, open your preferred browser of choice, and you have to type in the, this address. It will be down in the description below the video, so you can just copy it there. Uh, once you have gone here, click the download tool now, and you will download the media creation tool by Microsoft their own download tool and once you have downloaded that usually go to downloads folder or click here and double click and yes give it some time okay uh, when you've started the program as seen here uh, you have to accept license terms and then you have to wait some more Okay, you need to upgrade your computer right now. I'm sitting in a Windows 7 machine, but I always prefer to create an installation media for another PC. What do you have to do to download the ESO or create a bootable USB or a DVD? Okay, language and architecture. I'm gonna select English. Uh, yeah, you can use the recommend, but you have other choices like the home single language. It's more region based, it lacks a lot of management features. You have the Windows 10 standard, which has more management features, and the Windows N, which is lacking a few features. The Windows 10 is standard one. Uh, architecture, you have 32 or 64. This is determined by the CPU, mainly, on your computer. If you have a very old computer, you probably have to go with the 32 bit. If you have a newer one, the 64. And by 32, I mean 6 7 years old computer. Uh, you can do that by just Google your processor using your computer and as you should say architecture, architecture 32 or 64 bit. In terms of what you're gonna use. Uh, first, we select. This is what I would have had. So, next. Uh, here, you can choose USB flash drive. Uh, I prefer to download the ESA file because you don't need to be uh, connected to the internet when you're doing using that. So next, and it will s ask you for a location. Uh, my documents, Windows N 64 bit. Yeah, something like that. Call it something so you remember it, and then just save. There we go. Uh, I'll be back once I've downloaded the ESA file. And if you're wondering what to do with the file, I made a Windows USB DVD download tool tutorial a year ago, which explains how to use it. Very simple. Okay, everyone, it's finally done. It's been about an hour. And it says where it's made in my documents. Go here. Here it is. So you can use this in the Windows USB DVD download tool. I made a previous tutorial in it. I'll link it down in the description. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions or anything, comment down below. Uh, like and subscribe for more if you want to add. So thank you for watching. And goodbye.